Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's video. Now this is a Simply Made Sunday video and we also have a special offer which is 40% off my Very British Summer collection. Now there's only six things left from there so let's quickly go through everything that's in the offer and then we'll jump straight into the tutorial. So here is the Beach Hut die set, I've got this right at the bottom here, there we go. This has been in my bathroom for the last couple of years and it's held up really well. I didn't think that it would. I had to blow some dust off, but that's held together really well. Now there are tutorials for these and I'll pop them down below as well. So that is the beach hut. Now we have the ice cream cone. I'll pop a photo here of what it makes. It's really easy to do. The tutorial will be listed down below. And also you get the die here that's going to make the, um, the waffle effect as well on the ice cream cone. And here we have the tent. This is a summer tent gift box. It's basically a triangular gift box with a, a sleeve that goes over the top, but you can make it into a tent, a scout tent. It's gonna be perfect if you have friends that love to be the adventurer. So that's the summer tent gift box. That's a lot of fun. And last but not least for the dies, we have the summer paper wheel. This is a working paper wheel and the tutorial down below will show you how to make that as well. So again, you can layer these up or you can just have them static and decorate things, uh, cards and stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be a working paper wheel. And last but not least, we have these two stamp sets as well. We have the At The Beach sentiment and sentiment stamp set. So there's lovely things here. These are perfectly sized for memory keeping as well. If you want to stamp into your planners and your traveler's notebooks. And also these are lovely sized too. Again, perfect for your card making. Now this is the camping fun and sentiment stamp set. So it's gonna work beautifully with the summer tent gift box die set. Now this collection has 40% off at the moment and um, everything that I've shown you today will be listed down below. So let's jump straight in to the tutorial. Hello everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be putting together the Summer Tent gift box. Now this is a gorgeous die set as well and I've teamed it with my lovely new um, British summer papers and everything that I'm using today will be linked down below. So this is the die set here but I'm going to show you what it makes first. So it makes this lovely triangular tent. So I've popped this onto a board here. I'm still building up um, my samples but I wanted to get this tutorial filmed whilst I was doing so. So we have all of these other accents, the fire, the rucksack, the map, the, um, the sleeping bag roll and the log and the lantern um, absolutely perfect for finishing off your scene and I will make sure that there'll be photos here so you can see what it looks like once it's finished so I've added on some guy ropes here just with a bit of um, twine and some hot glue and now this pops out and then you can pop your goodies in there so this is absolutely perfect for uh, ladies, gents, children, this is for this is for everyone, depending on how you decorate it, personalise it, anything like that. So this is my other tent here. So again, we've gone for the, we've gone down the pretty route, but you can kind of go down the Boy Scout route if you really want to. There's just so many options. Let's pop that back. So let's have a quick look at the die set. I'll be showing you exactly what you need to be cutting out. There we go. So you need to be cutting out two of these. One each of those, so just run those through, and two of these, and that is your main set done. Now in the die set, like I said before, you get all of these accessories as well, so you can finish off your die set however you wish. Okay, so I have everything cut out already, so let me get everything set up, and then we can assemble. Okay, so I have my two flaps here. I have my two parts of the outside cover. And then this is the inner box here. So I've folded everything over already. So it does everything for you. And I am using Hunky Dory Adorable Scorable in matte. And the papers are from my new collection as well. They're the British Summer Papers. And there's a really good mix there of florals, as in 
this is more of like the 70s 80s style and then we have the more modern what's really popular at the moment this lovely floral print as well and we have the stripes too and you even get this little gingham as well so this is a little hint towards simply made crafts logo uh, well not, not logo but the branding packaging okay so let's get all of these scored okay so now we're ready to pop these together so we're going to be doing the base first so let's grab the glue again you can use red tape for this if you have some that's thin enough Okay, so you should have a base that now looks like that. So let's move over to the wrap. So I've die cut two of these. I've added my tape across the top because we're going to be getting rid of this um, section there, just that small tab. So let's cut that off. Otherwise we would have had to have popped in extra dies. But that's just a really simple cut. Okay, so what we're going to do now is glue these together by layering the shorter the thinner rectangle so we have the fatter ones and the thinner ones there we're going to layer those together now what i'm doing is i'm coming away from the score line just round about a millimetre or two so this definitely can fold upwards but there is a bit of extra space just to help create a good clearance for that to slide in and out and let's take this off now now there is our outer wrap almost done we just need to add our flaps now so these are mirrored so they're they're going to go on that way there we go got there in the end now I'm adding the glue there to the outside of that flap because that's going to go right on the inside there now if you want to you can pop these flaps on the back but I like to keep the functionality just to the, due to the nature of the layers of papers like that this can get caught on the way out so I'm going to leave this at the back there just for the clearance it's just the nature of um, papers and flaps and things so just to get around that I'm only going to add the flaps to the front and if you want to and I'll show you an example you can actually pop these on the box itself instead okay so I've used the papers for this one from the grand day out the 12 by 12 papers so they're so pretty they go so together with this one as well okay so I have actually popped this one on the front there but this will probably look good better with a white base box and then 
these seams will become invisible. Pop that there. Okay, so let's pop all the lids back on my glues. Okay, so let's put this inside here. So I'm going to go through this end here. So just pinch it together and then feed it in. There we go, there is our tent. So in order to make a little bit of a scene, you can add a little base, you can pop this on a gift box. I have like just a ready-made gift box here. It's just one of those craft boxes. We can make one yourself. You can pop your tent on there and then you can add extra goodies inside there or your s'mores or anything like that. And you can add your guy ropes with glue with your glue gun and you can also add all of your finishing accessories as well and this will also go with the matching stamp set the camping fun and sentiments stamp set as well not too sure that's going to be in focus but everything here will be listed down below so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is a wonderful little tent i absolutely love this tent i love camping so thank you very much for joining me today and i'll see you again next time